Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. We had some exciting news today that we have early access to a brand new Notion AI feature called Q&A. So let's get started. The first thing you might be wondering is who has access to this and what stage is this feature in? So this Notion AI with Q&A is in early access beta, so they're still testing how it works and now they're rolling it out to users who we think that most likely already have Notion AI upgraded in their workspace. But feel free to let us know in the comments if you already have access to Q&A and what you think about it. So what is Notion AI with Q&A, you might be wondering. Well, it basically acts as a chatbot that is powered by AI and you can access it through the bottom of your workspace through this sparkle button here. And you can ask it various things and it's going to search through your entire workspace and try to pull up answers. So for example, if we just ask it how to track habits, since we have many resources on habit tracking, we can just see what happens. Then it's going to start thinking about it and searching through all of our pages that we've created. And now it's going to show some ways that you can use, and they basically pull up where they got this information from. For example, here it says article and video titled how to build a habit tracker in Notion and so on. So this can be useful if you need to have an easier way to search through your workspace. And the other way you can access this Ask Notion AI, this Q&A feature is through the search function in the sidebar. So if you go to the sidebar and then go to search, now you'll see this new thing called Ask AI Anything in the Organized Notebook. And you can ask the same thing here. So how to track habits. And now the same chatbot appears here and it goes through your Notion pages and searches through them. So when we got the email from Notion about this new feature, they told us that it would be a good idea to ask questions similar to how do I get help sending an email to customers? Which engineering team owns the desktop app? What's the status of the user migration project? Any blockers and so on. So we think that this is a useful feature, especially for team workspaces where you have many people accessing the page and all of your information is scattered in different locations. This could be a really useful way to figure out quick questions that people might have and that you might have had to write an FAQ for before. And here are some of our thoughts about this feature. So in general, we're very excited about this, but it does have its limitations. So if we ask things that are a little bit more complicated, like what are our goals this year? There's just so many pages that it has to sift through that it can be kind of difficult to find the correct answer, especially if you have many different pages with many different informations. So here it says, I'm sorry, I wasn't able to complete this query. Please try asking me a different question. So we think that one of the biggest things that needs to happen with this Q&A feature is that you, can, you should be able to limit which pages that this applies to so that you're not searching through your entire workspace that might have information across all different projects and so on. So that would be one of the things that we would be hoping for in the future. The other thing we were thinking about is that this could be a useful feature inside shared pages, especially when you do share to web. So if you have customers accessing your Notion pages through the web and they need some quick help, it could be really nice that this Notion AI uh, Q&A could be enabled for those pages. You could end up helping your customers through the chatbot instead of getting a lot of emails. So those are some of our thoughts about this new Notion AI feature Q&A. We think this has a lot of potential since it's still in early access. What are your thoughts about this and have you tried it yet? Let us know in the comments below and see you in the next video.